just when I thought the storm was over, the rain is back and water levels where I live are higher than ever. Hello, my name is Mergim and welcome to the channel. If you're a long time viewer, you'll recall that I made a video highlighting the alarming water levels in my local province of Nottambury. On the day I made the 7-Eleven drink test video, a couple streets from where I live experienced partial flooding with water levels reaching about 6 inches. And as I'm making this voiceover for this video at 1am, it's absolutely pouring with rain with no sign of it stopping. And so in preparation for the worst given Thailand's extraordinary amount of rainfall this year, I went ahead and purchased an inflatable boat as well as a tiny two-stroke motor which arrived yesterday. And in today's video we're going to be unboxing, assembling and testing this bit of gear. So stay tuned because you won't want to miss this one. Whoa. So where are the instructions? Oh, here it is. User manual. It's all in Chinese! So Chinese, Chinese, China, 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 China. No English. This is going to require some serious craftsmanship. So all of this is just the boat. Then we still have the engine. We've ordered a little two-stroke engine here. This is probably the propeller. Wow, it's quite the engine. Oh yeah. So we don't need these paddling boards, do we? I don't like how these wires are exposed like this, to be fair. Yeah, this is this is the shaft and the propeller. So based on the instruction booklet, I think we need to unwrap that first. And then I think we've got to insert some sort of like metallic plates into the into the base of the boat to maintain its structure. And then clip it in. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Let's go. Then you just unfold it like I saw in a booklet. Oh, I think it's a big boat. Wow. Wow, this is the type of boat that they would have on Titanic, bro. <laughs> so we've got to put this one inside of the boat first. Alright, so we're working out how to insert this foot pump into the hole here but basically we've got to get this attachment here put it in this way and then pop it in here just as such and that pushes the valve down there we go see Deflate the bloody thing. Yeah, there we are. Whoa, 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 whoa. Screws in here. These aren't long enough. Surely that it can't be that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that it? Mm. Just these four? Oh, bloody hell. It's, they don't look very long. Oh. So I'll put that in here. What? So that's it here, and then this one will clamp onto the end of the boat like that, yeah? With these G clamps, yeah. Well, this is harder than it looks. <laughs> <sighs> See, we're having Ooh. difficulties trying to get. It. I think that's the best we're gonna get. Yeah, that's all right. Look, look at that. Ooh. Moving on to the front side. Pop that in there, and then twist. Okay, if I remember, got it inside like that, and then twist. Oh, looks like. We didn't have to leave it, leave it. Better to leave it. Don't open up a can of worms. Look at it now. Not bad progress, I would say. But this is what the board that's gonna sit up here, right? Yeah. Well, we don't pump this, but we need to pump this here. I don't think many people make YouTube videos like I do, bro. Pop it into a hole like this. And then, gotta put it in like that. And then, 
Once it's in like that, we've got to pop this in here too. See how they twist? Yeah. And then fit into that hole as well. So we actually put the metallic components first and then we'll fix the board later because trying to assemble it, then put it on at the same time, pretty much impossible. Bloody hell, that was not an easy feat. It required all four of us to be able to assemble this boat. And it's taken us about an hour to an hour and a half to do so. But I think we're finally there. Right, so just to explain quickly, we've attached this finally in the end. This was probably the hardest part of the boat. But this little board is going to provide support to the motor. So we're actually going to... So this motor is actually going to use these set of G-clamps here to attach onto the end of the board there. And we should be able to steer very easily with it. Oh, wow. Oh. That's a good. One, one, one. Like this. Uh, anti clockwise, so you go like that. Oh. Is that alright? Whoa, it's so long. All right, gotta get some rope and tie it down. If we put it through the yeah, hole here, it. better. No, okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's it. There we are. And then we need to attach it to here, yeah? Do we have something here? Yeah, maybe we put it through the door here. Yeah, if you pull that round over, yep. Pull it tight, up, 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 up. Yeah, 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 there we are. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. Look at that, we've got the rope going through the boat there and we're pinning it down here because we don't have one. We don't have one of those little plastic things on the other side that broke off, but we do have it on that side. Am I not a genius? Look at this. Okay. Right, so we've loaded the engine up in the car and we're going to take it to our nearest mechanic shop so that they can service the engine and check everything because running well because we need to put engine oil in this. I don't think there's any engine oil right now in there. So they'll start it up, test it, make sure it's all working fine before we decide to go onto the river. Right, time to head there. Put the engine there. Yeah, Motor fine. oil. There we are. Right, so while we've told somebody to go get some fuel for us, we've come to a 7 Eleven uh, to grab something to eat. I might have to do a part two of this video because uh, the sun is setting and it might get really, really dark. Grab some chocolate or I'll give myself a Kit Kat. And it's a kind of cork 13 bar for this. Are you joking? 295 ml. How cute is that? So, a Kit Kat and a small bottle of coke. I ain't never seen this. Hey, hey, hey. Stop, stop, stop. Check this water level out. Oh my god. Oh, it's literally on the same level as these sandbags. And the water is seeping through, you can see that. God damn, but it's gonna rain. I don't know if we should postpone it to another day. The floor is almost flooded. Yeah. Oh, what, what are you sending us, man? Oh. I'm already Ooh. wet. Anyway.
probably best I'm putting it onto this balustrade here. Don't know what knot that was. Brilliant. 